Hello little bookworms, my name is Jojo and me and my cuddly friends would like to welcome you to the littlest book corner. Tonight is a very special bedtime story, so make sure you have a cuddly friend or a blankie for you to snuggle with as you listen to tonight's story time. I have a very special cuddly friend joining me in the littlest book corner tonight. This slumberkins is called Slumber Sloth. Okay, Slumber Sloth, I'm gonna place you right here so I can get the story time chest and see what's inside. And tonight's book is Sleepy Time Rhymes, Slumber Sloth by Kelly Oriard with Callie Christensen and illustrated by Teresa Thompson. Okay, little bookworms, let's get started. Slumber sloth, it's time for bed. It's time for bed, you sleepy head. I know you think it's hard to do, but listen to my words and I will show you. Now it's time to calm your mind, relax your head and heart before bedtime. Listen to me count, one, two, three. Breathe in and out on each number very slowly. One, two, three. Now it's time to shut your body down, starting at your feet, then up to your crown. Notice your feet, your heels to your toes. Squeeze them tight. Now let them go. Notice how calm your feet now feel. Now let's do your legs. It's the same deal. Squeeze them tight. Now let them go. Feel them melting like the snow. Halfway there, it's time to breathe deep. Big breaths on my count. One, two, three. Now notice your shoulders, arms and hands. Are they still wide awake or ready for dreamland? Squeeze them tight. Now let them go. Feel them melting like the snow. Your body feels heavy, melting into the bed. Now turn your attention to your sleepy head. Give a big smile. Now let it go. Feel your cheeks melting like the snow. Let your thoughts drift out to sea and enter dreamland, my little sweet pea. The end. Oh, that book made me feel so relaxed and so sleepy. What about you, Slumber Sloth? Oh my goodness, they're sleeping already. How about you, little bookworms? Are you feeling sleepy too? I think it's about time we all went to bed. So I'm going to say good night and I wish you a wonderful sleep with sweet, sweet dreams. And I hope that you'll join me next time at the Littlest Book Corner for another story time adventure. But until next time, keep on reading. Good night. If your little one loved this book, you can get your very own copy by clicking on the link below. Don't forget to connect with us on social media for story time, giveaways and more. Thanks for watching. Thank you.